morning, everyone. How are you doing? Another lovely morning. This morning we are indoors just to show you a few bits and pieces, guys. I had this idea that uh, due to the good news we got during the week about the easing of restrictions, okay? Uh, it looks like this in the next um, week or two that you know, we're going to be able to have uh, friends and family over to our gardens um, to socialize for uh, the first time in a long time, okay? So uh, I just had an idea we threw these bits together this morning just to show you how you can brighten up the garden, okay? There's some very, very easy options, some very low maintenance options uh, for piles, lots and lots of colour in the garden, okay? So like I suppose the main feature here, guys, we have furniture, okay? So this is all available uh, still to buy on whackwood.com, okay? We have a showroom here with lots of furniture on display. Call in and have a chat with any one of us uh, any day. Um, the furniture gets delivered directly to your home, and um, you know we have no bottles. So, okay, so maybe starting off here, guys, uh, for the very very low maintenance. Okay, um, these are artificial boxes. Okay, so these are um, not really. They don't require any maintenance, any water, or anything like that. We just stuck them into a little pot. A nice glazed pot. A heavy pot keeps them upright, helps to hold them in place, okay? And um, like that, no bother. You can also, if you have these, you can also put the Christmas lights around them later. You know, it's first of May now. <laughs> first of December won't be long coming around, guys. Um, so, artificial. Um, these are also UV treated, guys, so they won't fade in your garden, okay? There are some, um, you know, um, cheaper ones out there, you know? Um, but they fade in a year, you know, you'll be left with two white stems, okay? So keeping on the artificial team here, guys, we have an artificial slide for the door, uh, artificial hanging baskets, look fabulous, no maintenance, okay? Um, we also have um, hanging boxes, hanging boxes, like you could hang them like that instead of a hanging basket, or you could um, put them upside down in a pot also. Um, just like those, um, you know, like, like, like the pyramids here, okay? So we have more here. We also have um, artificial plants here on either side of the door. You know, so if you're not green-fingered, if you're a bit afraid of it, lads, or if you'd like something a bit more moderate, you know, uh, these are extremely popular. Now, like I said, you can have the boxes on either side of the door or whatever like that. You could have this artificial alley on in a really, really nice pot. Um, I would just say, with all this artificial stuff, uh, with the colour, bring it in for the winter, okay? And here, we have a lovely gold brush. Again, artificial, no maintenance, okay? So there's plenty of other options I've been running through in a minute for the fresh, the real plants for outside your front door or alongside your patio to brighten it up, okay? So there's loads and loads of options. Also along the wall here, we're just showing some of the wall art we have. Again, suitable only for the summer outdoor guys, okay? This is a fabulous butterfly pick. I mean, we, we wouldn't knock outdoors ourselves in Ireland in the winter, you know, so you can't expect your uh, bits of wall art to uh, put up in the winters here in Ireland. Little ladybirds, beautiful little um, wind chime, the butterflies. Um, this is just a fabulous piece here, in the wind chime. Beautiful, very relaxing sound there on your patio, okay? Oh, and either side of the door also over here, we have the lanterns, okay? Lanterns are extremely popular recently. So we have these uh, stainless steel high quality lanterns. This one here is, just happens to be, um, I don't know, I thought that said the height, so I didn't. But inside we have a little array of battery operated candles. And all these battery operated candles, guys, you have used them for Christmas time, okay? But all of these battery operated candles have timers, okay? So they'll just automatically come on there alongside your little pot and just have a little bit of a light in the evening, okay? We also, which we're not showing today, uh, have a big selection of solar lighting, okay? So we're going to do another, another day on that, um, which is a fantastic option for lighting up your garden, okay? Um, okay, so I suppose we're keeping kids in mind then as well, you know, we can't forget about the kiddies and to make the gardening a bit more interesting for them, um, we have the fairy bits, okay? So all of the fairy um, 
accessories are here. Okay, right from the little little fairies, um, fairies, elves, little pots for little you can plant. Um, the doorways and these little have little magnetic um, uh, little places here for the elves and stuff. With solar light fairies and all the little houses, then the little tin houses. Okay, so it's a great way to get the kids interested in a bit of gardening, creating a little fairy garden of your own. Okay, and you can add to the collection over time. Now, mind you, we have a lot of adults that are um, have fairy gardens for themselves. It's not just for kids. Um, we have a selection of doormats, guys. Very important. Um, keep the dirt outside. Now, um, just before I move on to the fresh outdoor plants, let you know we have the world of artificial plants all up here, all different colours. Fabulous little pots. This little pot here seats the um, ex the extra cushions that we put on this couch here. Uh, just to add a bit of colour, okay? And you can buy the cushions to match. They don't come with that furniture, okay? We also have a few bits of um, melamine and picnic wear, okay? Very, very pretty with the wild flowers, salad bowls, jugs, water bottles, bowls, all that, all that sort of stuff is in store, guys. Um, so check it out at your leisure, okay? Um, now, my favourite piece, of course, is the, the, the real gardening piece. So, people are always seeing, like, you know, they want pots for the front door, you know? This is probably one of the most popular lines. The boxes. The boxes for the front door, you really can't go wrong. You have them in pyramids, in balls, in triple balls, spirals, all sorts of shapes. The secret to boxes is keeping them well watered. Okay, so it's very, very hard to water in winter and summer, but after that, really, they are no problem. Okay, and uh, we had them in a selection of different pots and loads and loads of different, and these are actually all plastic pots at the moment, and um, very attractive. Okay, so um, I have four pots planted here, all suitable for your front door or your patio. Okay, and um, I kind of have cleaned them. Okay, so this is um, something that you know. Um, people are very into these days it's just one colour okay so you've got one burst of colour out of this massive white hydrangea flowers okay one plant in a in a pot and um, you know I just chose the green pot because uh, before they actually come into full flower these are fabulous lime green colour opening up into pure pure white loads and loads of buds to come on throughout the summer okay now, here I have um, a pot that, you know, won't appeal to a lot of people. It's very green, you know, but it has a certain theme about it, okay? This pot is permanent planting, okay? So everything in this pot will grow again next year, all right? And uh, this is particularly suited to a shady foreigner in the garden where you don't have a lot of sun. You have a, a fabulous uh, fern in the front, uh, a hosta here in the back with a variegated edge, um, this dies down totally for the winter, as do the begonias here. And they're so pretty. These begonias love the shade and they trail out and they're going to fill out all of this part of the pot here. Okay, so that's your shade loving pot. This pretty pink one here, with a fairy in it, is um, the sunny pot. Okay, geraniums love the sun. These mini petunias, this mini petunia here, it comes in three colours in the one pot. And I mean, this is all going to spill out over the pot, okay? And in the back, we have the Sinetia. Sinetias are fabulous and uh, quite hardly plant, actually. And um, all you need to do with these is to deadhead them. Take off the dead flowers when they occur, okay? Um, so that's that. And this is my favorite pot of them all, okay? Um, this one here is Hastie. My favorite, okay? So here we have a pot that's planted specifically um, with uh, our, our customers from the coastal region. So, I mean, we have a lot of people here um, shopping here that uh, live on coastal exposed areas, Banna, Bally High, Bally Duff, Bally Bunyan, Tarbert, all along, oh, up along the, um, the coast here of Limerick. Um, so we have um, planted this pot here 
um, with mostly permanent stuff. Everything in this pot except the little flower on the front will grow next year, okay? So I just think the pot is fabulous. It's plastic again. And the advantage falls over. It's not going to break. Okay, so in this pot here, we have uh, an Estelia, which is a silver foliage, very, very tough plant, grows no bother by the seaside. Here we have this fabulous um, textured uh, leafy plant, which is going to grow very big and leafy out the side here. It's called Angel Wings. Um, this plant, it's like a name, but it's quite like a disease or something. You wouldn't like to have it. It's called Festuca Glauca. Like it's just such a weird name, but it's a fabulous blue grass. Okay, so the whole theme going on here just happens to be blue with the seaside. And again, we have the mini petunias in the front. Um, in a, in a mix of three colors. This here, I just wanted to show you here, lads, as we're here. Okay, this is a little dead flower here. All you need to do is just pluck them off, okay? That's all the maintenance thing is, is in that, and keep our pots well watered, okay? Just up here, I just wanted to show you the sunflower. It actually looks artificial, it's so good. This is a multi-stem sunflower, fantastic to go with kids at the moment. Um, we just planted in a nice little pot there for today. Um, but you know they grow happily in the garden have to be facing the sun you know they, so they, they love the sun and um, what you call it I think that you know with all of this you know you, you, you get plenty of colour into your garden very very easy guys and please call and just ask the question you know we're here to help you um, so that's really it for today. I see Anne Marie coming there. Anne Marie, as you all know from the cafe, is very excited about opening up the cafe in, um, the, on the 7th of June. She's actually bringing me a lovely coffee. Thank you very much, Mrs. Lyon. You're very good. <laughs>